Okay, screeners, how you doing? It's another week of movies, so we're going to turn the clock back a couple of decades and celebrate a film and just discuss how good or how bad it actually was. Yeah, it's just classic movie review time here on the Silver Screen Dudes. And as always, if you're regular watchers, you would have heard me say this before. If you're new watchers, listen up. You know what the vi- what the movie I'm about to mention is. Because, hey, you've clicked on it. You've seen the title. AJ never knows the movie that's coming up. Sometimes, like, a few days ago, we had Need for Speed. Go check that out, which he's seen once. And sometimes it's happened where he's never seen movies. But the fun is when he has seen a movie, it's getting that instant reaction of, how is that already that old? We're taking a walk down memory lane here. It's old, dusty, lonesome road called TBT Boulevard. Throwback Thursday. AJ, today we're not going back 10 years. We're not going back 20 years. Ha <laughs> ha, I lie. We are going back 20 years. Okay, Don't worry. Cool. Um, we're going back 20 years this week. Uh, one of our favorites. One, Not one of our favorite movies. One of our favorite joint actors. Because AJ, 20 years old this week is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I've watched this for the top 10 Jim Carrey movies that we've done. Previous channel, previous live. Check it out if you wish. It's not going to do much for our hits, but yeah, check it out all the same. (laughs) Um, What do I think of Eternal? I'm in a small category. Now, it's very funny because of the way I, when I've watched it, if you overdo it on films and you're trying to catch up, is one thing. The concept of the film has always appealed to me. The execution, I thought, was a bit weird. And I think maybe the challenge of expectation dimmed my appreciation of the film. I'm not saying it's a bad film, but it dimmed my appreciation of the film. There were certain great shots, but I didn't feel like it fit in that movie. It just went a bit more quirky than I expected. But nice film. It's very interesting you say that, because I echo what you say about the execution being weird, but I think it was weird in the best possible way. Because if you, if you turn, maybe it is a book, I don't know, forgive me. But the story of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind would work perfectly as a book, because effectively what you're, what you're telling is the story of a man wiping memories from his mind. Now, with a book, you put the written word on paper, your mind fills in the gaps. With a movie, most of the time you would have some sort of dialogue of characters talking. You wouldn't see the visualization of a memory being destroyed. Some of the cinematic skill put to use here, I thought was quite, not revolutionary, because they're not doing anything particularly new with a camera or in the editing suite, per se. But... The way they use, it's kind of like a worker using existing tools, like tools that are industry-wide and doing something new with the pre-existing tools. That's why I thought this movie was so clever. It's like, oh, let's do a vignetting fade to black to convey that memory leaving his mind's eye. Or let's exaggerate scale to highlight the fact that he's going back to a juvenile stage here. You know, there were all these really, like, and using forced perspective for that, there were all these really, really clever uses of things I've seen before, but in terms of cinema, in terms of technical skills, but presented in a different way, which enabled the visualization if that's the right word, they enable the visualization of memories being deleted without having to resort to, hey, well, this is how I get my memory deleted. Really, why do you want to get your memory deleted? Well, you see, there's this girl. Really, we should forget about her. You should go see this person. Okay, I went to see this person. I can't remember the girl. Wait, what are we talking about? You see what I mean? It doesn't roll as well when you actually spend a whole movie showing how the hell it happens. It's one of those I feel like I need to watch again, but with schedule sometimes it's a bit hard. I, as I said, it, when we, the way I digest films could be different or similar to some people, expectation has a lot in the way of which I take it, and sometimes it throws me off too badly that I just don't appreciate it. Then I come back at it a second time, and I'm like, I get you, and I feel that it, this is what this film could be guilty of. Hmm. It's yeah, I, I think it's quite the remarkable achievement. I find this story incredibly endearing because listen we've all been on someone's hook before and we've all had someone on our hook we've all had codependent relationships or relationships that were toxic that weren't good for us not saying either person was bad just that relationship doesn't work 
Mm-hmm. So it's infinitely, it's got a universal truth to it. It's infinitely relatable. And hell, man, there's some things I'd like to kind of put myself through the spotless mind <laughs> treatment of and get them erased. But the other thing I love is that oh, you've got at the centre, obviously, you've got Kate Winslet playing um, Clementine. You've got Jim Carrey in the lead role. But it's the supporting characters. You're Tom Wilkinson, rest in peace. Kirsten Dunst, Mark Ruffalo, all giving really brilliant supporting performances that kind of play parallel to what's going on in Carrie's mind. I love this film. Would you like to see the trailer? Let's have a look. Let's have a butcher, shall we? Bringing up the trailer. Voila. Kevin was sad. <laughs> Love Gary. Hi. Capacity. Sorry. I just said hi. What Howard gives to the world to let people begin again. It's beautiful. She's there with this guy, and she looks at me like she doesn't even know who I am. Look at this. Just turning lights off. Things like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. memories. What is it? I was Krachinsky was not happy and she wanted to move on. My name is Joel Barish and I'm here to erase Clementine Krachinsky. There's an emotional core to each of our memories and when you eradicate that core, it starts its degradation process. By the time you wake up in the morning, all the memories were targeted with withered and disappeared as in a dream upon waking. This is the last time I saw you. You guys think of a concept, or I complete them, or I'm gonna make them alive. I'm just a fucked up girl who's looking for my own. Oh, reason. and demonetized. Oh, we're going off. Can you hear me? I don't you want to do it. We're going off. This stuff, playing it in reverse across sets. Look at this. It's so clever seeing all the furniture distorted because his mind isn't filling in the gap properly. I don't need this. I don't need myself to be it, and I don't need anybody else to be it at me. Running away from the mind being destroyed. It's so I don't know where. What do you mean? I don't know where. I tell you everything, every damn embarrassing thing. You don't trust me. <laughs> All the memories merging into one and before they disappear. Maybe we can. see anything that I don't like about you. But you right will. Now I can. But you will. You know, you will think of things. And I'll get bored with you and feel trapped because that's what happens with me. Okay. <laughs> Clem, they're erasing you. It's great, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it was a goodie. It was a goodie. Um, why have I lost the over? There we are. And so was Man. born the manic pixie dream girl. <laughs> yeah, indeed, indeed, indeed. Look, buyer beware. Funny... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a funny one for me. Um, yeah, I, I, I it, it's not disdain. It's not over craze, which is weird for me in a world of Jim Carrey. You know, it's, it's very rare that you'll see me on a. Mm, the only time we'll get a thumbs down is Dumb and Dumber 2. Oh, my dead. But <laughs> aside from that, let's talk about it. Yeah, it, it's, 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 yeah, it's a thumbs up. It's a thumbs up, but I'm aware that it's probably a double thumbs up to some, to most. Um, I'm, I'm not going to be ignorant to it. Some might even go further than double thumbs up. But for me, it's, it's one to check, 
um, on my personal list is one to review. Um, however, yeah, it, it's got some good elements to it. It's, it's got a, an interesting take to it. It's my, my outcome. Just, I'm not yeah. sure if it's for me yet. My praise for this movie may surprise you because I think this movie's goated, mate. <laughs> I think it's I think it's a thing of beauty. I think it is truly one of the most unique and inventive and well executed films I've ever seen. Um I love everything about it. I really, really, really can't speak enough about it. So those are our thoughts on just how good Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is. Yeah. What do you guys think? Do you like this movie? Where do you stand on it? Is it thumbs up, thumbs down, mid range, double thumbs, goated, dog, dog turd? Let, <laughs> us, know. Let yeah. us know down below and do be sure to like the video if you haven't done so already. Please do subscribe to the Silver Screen Dudes YouTube channel. We do content pretty much every day of the week. Go check out some of our stuff. And uh, for those of you who got butt hurt by my June 2 review, deal with it. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, go see it. Uh, all right, guys, we're we out for now. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Yeah. See ya.